before the Russian invasion of Ukraine, these people had different civilian professions but were united by a common passion – the sea and the wind. In the past years, more and more Ukrainians discovered yachting thanks to this man. His name is Pavlo, and he is the founder of one of the leading centers of Ukrainian sailing. Marinero, Marinero was established in 2015. Me and my companions were thought it would be like a community for sailing addicted people. And then we understood that it's not a hobby anymore. We established a sailing school, which to date has produced about a thousand of sailors. And of course, we made yacht trips and expeditions all around the world. This year was supposed to be full of sailing events for Ukrainians. In particular, Pavlo and his team were going to start a round-the-world sailing expedition. But as soon as the first missiles hit Ukrainian soil, all these plans had to be set on pause. However, members of the yachting community did not run away. When the war started back in 2014, our military needed literally everything. So me and my colleagues created a charitable foundation, Territory of Life, and tried to provide our soldiers everything they needed, including cars. Within two years, the needs of the army were mostly satisfied, so the charitable project was put on hold. Now we've just reopened it and started to work quickly. We all already knew what to do. We have three key directions of our work. First is vehicles, second drones. We take care of finding and purchasing them and modernizing according to the needs of our soldiers. And the third direction of our activity is creating an ad hoc systems for civil drones to make them able to deliver presents to our enemy. In order to deter the onslaught of the Russians, who have an unlimited supply of weapons and soldiers, the Ukrainian military must be flexible, highly mobile and have eyes everywhere. Accordingly, the fund concentrated on the supply of four-wheel drive vehicles and drones to the front. We have already purchased and delivered more than 50 pickups and 20 SUVs and other cars. And there is a queue for these cars, at least for some weeks. There are no cars that are waiting for a user. The fund provides delivery of cars as well as their maintenance and what's most important, the application of camouflage painting. The guys joke that they're already beginning to forget their pre-war professions. For security reasons, we will not show the faces of our next heroes. All we can say, they are talented engineers engaged in modeling in peacetime. But as the war is ongoing, their talents can be useful to defend the country. Currently, we're dealing with a modern warfare. This is a war of heavy guns. But these guns need such things as drones to make their work more accurate. Those drones must be fit for combat. And that's what we are doing, making household things fit for combat. There are many such paramilitary drones on the Ukrainian front line. Of course, their main purpose is reconnaissance of enemy positions. But if necessary, such a bird can stir up a little those who hold these positions. However, such aircraft may not be useful everywhere. Russian electronic warfare systems can easily jam the communication between the drone and the operator. That is why Ukrainian masters began to develop their own drone, which would be not afraid of signal interferences. Currently, Ukrainian volunteers are looking for people willing to participate in the development of a new aircraft. First of all, they need people with knowledge of radio electronics. And of course, the fund constantly needs donations. To date, more than one million dollars have been collected and spent by the founders of the charitable organization and the yachting community. However, in order to get closer to victory, you cannot rest on your laurels. Every contribution counts, whether it's sound advice or a voluntary donation.